Okay, uh, yesterday we did um, stenciling on this uh, painting and stenciling on this uh, canvas bag. Today I'm going to continue further uh, what we can do after we have dried it uh, properly. We can take off the tape at the side. Okay, we take off the tape here. And also the bottom. Okay. And also here. So in the end, we will have this kind of a uh, setting. Okay, and quite nice and pretty. It's multicolored. Okay, and then we're going to continue a bit on stenciling. Uh, we can either put uh, this kind of stencil to the side if you want. Okay, like that. Or we can add borders to that. Add borders if you want. Okay, let's do the borders, yeah. Okay, we take the paper tape and secure it to the place that we want to, uh, to position the stencil. It needs to bring up the thing so that it will be a bit more flat. Okay, then we will use. Uh, I will going to use uh, this black color Americana, lamb black. Put it in the palette. Can use this uh, sponge bouncer. Okay, and make sure it's dry enough and not much water in it. And then we're gonna dab it to the place. Cannot be too much uh, pain, otherwise it will blot the area. more see it a bit and see what happened. Okay, I think we need to put more here.
Okay, I think enough. Um, we will open it up and see. So we have it over on to one side. Uh, quite an elegant border. I'm going to put uh, so here. So lovely, and we're going to put more paint. We're going to use a bit more bouncer. Once again, we cannot have too much on the sponge. Okay, and then we're going to dab. a bit more here okay so we have it uh, over that and then we will uh, do at the bottom okay Okay, we're going to take the black paint again and we're going to dab at the bottom like that. Okay, and we will open it up and see what happened. Okay, we have already done the part. And now we do the next one, which is this corner. And we dab. Take some more pain. And we dab. Okay, as is, we have already done, and we can take it out. Okay, so we are finishing the, all the three sides where we can actually uh, now dry it.
Okay, so we are done and then we have all done up that way. Alright. And um, the last but not least, I think I will put some words here using uh, freestyle. Okay, uh, we use a uh, round brush, perhaps. And black color. Okay, we're going to take the black color using the round brush and I'm going to just um, write it up. You can use double. Okay, then uh, we're going to write down here. Okay, we're going to stay safe and we dry it.
Okay, so there we are completed. If you want to further enhance it, we will uh, varnish the surface with a cloth varnish like this. Okay, uh, to do it on top of the surface after it dries. Okay, otherwise we have already completed this project. Uh, perhaps uh, I will show you uh, the varnishing as well. Okay that we need uh, a flat brush and also um, you need to use a gloss varnish okay we put oops, sorry this is our purpose healer Okay, we need the varnish actually. So we need the gloss varnish here. Yeah. And we're gonna use this and we wet it a bit. the varnishing to varnish the surface just to protect uh, at least a layer of it Okay, so we are done with the layering with varnish and then we dry it. Okay. Okay, so that's it. We we are done with the with the project uh, after layering. This is it. Okay. Uh, as I say, what we have done is uh, to use stencil. Uh, the base uh, in the in the bo uh, background. We are using the uh, pearl color, uh, which is this colors. Delta colors, okay, and then uh, we use the Americana uh, black to do the stenciling at the side, as well as the Americana titanium white to do the uh, flowery part, the leaves, and uh, and that's about it. The background we make sure that you use and the background color to mix with it and then uh, baste it before you uh, put uh, all the other colors on top okay so it's actually a layering process all right thank you for watching